Hey guys, welcome back to Paul's Hardware. We got a special video here for you guys because today we're building a brand new PC for my editor Joe's girlfriend. All right guys, I've been very busy lately and I haven't had a chance to shave my arms, so hope you don't mind my hairy arms. All right, let's go over the parts really quickly and then we put this guy together. Let's check it out. Excellent. Corsair has new cases. The 4000 series presents a solid mix of looks, functionality, and affordability for new and veteran PC builders alike. A spacious interior and the rapid route cable management guides make for easy assembly with room for up to 620mm or 440mm fans. The 4000D Airflow features an optimized airflow focused front panel while the IQ 4000 X sports sexy tempered glass panels and is RGB ready with the included lighting node core. Click the sponsor link in the description for more. All right guys, this is the part where I do the handheld action and go over each individual part and stuff like that and make the video long and stuff and yeah. So for starters, for our CPU, we have the AMD Ryzen 7 1700X, which for some reason I've been missing for like the past few months. I don't know what happened to it, but anyways. Yeah, so Joe Girlfriend, he does a lot of like uh, processing work, right? You know, using Word and you know, opening up emails and stuff like that. So we need to hook her up with a nice uh, eight core, you know, CPU here, right? To be able to handle all those tasks and stuff like that, right? Because you know, when you have multiple, you know, web browser tabs open and you need to do a spreadsheet and stuff like that, you definitely need like a good CPU to be able to, pro to handle all that stuff, right? You know, multitask, right? This guy is gonna be inserted into this doodle right here. The AB350M ASRock thingamajig motherboard, yeah. B350 motherboard, right? The AM4 socket, right? Now Joe's a bit of a minimalist and like pretty much he just wants like something that just like has enough for what he needs, right? But we got like two memory sticks and this has only two slots, perfect. Has like one PCIe express lane connector for the GPU. Yeah, this guy also has like an M.2 connector and all this stuff, but we're only gonna go with the SATA SSD uh, storage device, right? And for like the storage, we got the PNY 240 gigabyte uh, storage device. Now, uh, I don't know about these things, right? But Joe, like he likes to buy these things all the time because he's a bit of a cheap ass, right? But he swears that these things work well. You can get these at Best Buy for like $30, right? And like, actually that's pretty reasonable. Yeah, for his computer party monster back there, pretty much like he has a lot of these and like he says he never had any problems with it. And like, you know, they store stuff and they work so i mean that's basically all you need right so yeah not bad for the price and they work well and like you know it's just it works <laughs> And for like the RAM, this is the Flare X kit by G Skill. These guys look cool. These guys have a cast latency of 141434, which I Joe doesn't really understand what that means to be honest. Even though he's been working with me for years, but I know he knows it's fast, right? So it's gonna go well with this guy. It's gonna be a perfect kit. Boom. And to cool off this guy, we're using the Thermotake Contact Silent 12 CPU cooler, right? It has an AM4 support. Actually, like cool little like uh, cooler has like the copper contact plate, so it should be able to like handle like any hard task that like you know that Joe's girlfriend does, right? When she's like doing like the crazy rendering of nothing really, just opening emails. But yeah, when she's doing the Zoom calls or something like that, you know, because she's working from home, this cooler would be able to like you know cool off this like eight core CPU when she's doing like you know the online meetings and stuff like that. So it should be perfect. And speaking of Zoom calls and video and all that stuff, we got the Zotac 1070 GPU that's VR ready that she most likely will never use, but this guy has eight gigabytes of GDDR5 RAM stuff. So for her single 1080p monitor that she's gonna be using, this guy will be perfect. That way, you know, this guy can, you know, handle that processing power of 1080p pixels and stuff like that. Still has a cool card, you know, I say for, you know, basic people that, you know, they wanna be, they wanna game every now and then, but they don't want the extra fancy stuff, right? And finally, to like power all this excessive components for my girlfriend's I mean, Joseph's, for Joe the Editor's girlfriend is basically gonna be the 650 G2 Supernova by EVGA. It's an 80 plus gold power supply, and this guy is a beaut. The thing I like about this power supply is like, it has this cool like texture on it. It has like that kind of like Rhino liner spray on it. You know, it has like that black texture, you know, it feels good. You know, it doesn't slip from your hands and stuff like that. And, and because it's modular, it's gonna help us out big time with like all the cable management and stuff like that, right? That way like we can just use what we need and pretty much all the other cables. You can tuck them away and save them for later if we ever need them again. But yeah, cool little power supply. Definitely is a good quality feel to it. So that's all that Joe knows about it because he doesn't know much about this stuff but yeah <laughs> and finally we're gonna put all this stuff in this guy the nzxt h510 now joe is more of a simple guy you know he just wants something that has good airflow everything fits perfectly and that's it you know he's not into the whole rgb stuff or whatever he does have a tempered glass so that's fine you know because you know we do want to show off like probably the one led that the uh, zotac gpu has right so that's okay but uh anyways yeah this is the build and this is my 
editor is very talented and smart and you know I always underestimate how smart he is you know he's always correcting me when I mess up and stuff like that but so lately Joey like a ripped off Phil from like uh, Jay's Two Cents right freaking Phil we're gonna he's gonna do a cool little montage build of this whole thing right now right so on the snap of my fingers let's get it done ready one two three go All right, guys, this is the part where I just like randomly, <laughs> rather than just finishing the build, I just want to interrupt the build progress and make it more complicated for my editor to edit this thing. But you got the fan here, and then we got this long cable, as you can see right here. And the CPU fan is right here, right? So now I'm gonna like try to like put it right there, but I figured, hey, that's too much, right? So I flip the fan over like this. I just tuck like the cable underneath the fan, and now I got like a smaller cable, so I could just connect it directly here, right? But then guess what? I get this nasty ketchup and blue mayo freaking wire here and it's sticking out and it looks nasty right so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna like fold like the cable here along the fan here put it behind the bracket that should give me that should be able to give me better cable management and like and i still have enough like cable length to be able to connect to my cpu fan header right here right and there's absolutely no reason why i had to stop and film and show you this i could have just continued with the build and talked about it later but that's what i do so back to the build montage yeah come on Come on, you stupid piece of crap! <laughs> <laughs> Take two. All right, so screw it, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I already did this ending once, but my audio came out bad, so I'm redoing it. So I don't feel like doing like the, oh, hi, hi, it was me the whole time joke or whatever, but. <laughs> Surprise, motherfuckers. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not supposed to cuss, but whatever. I tricked it, didn't I? I've been working with Paul for so damn long. I tolerated all of his shenanigans and I accumulated his personality so much that I was able to convince you guys, right? That I was him. <laughs> that was annoying, I got mad. Making videos can be frustrating. Oh, jokes aside, seriously, I hope you guys enjoyed the beginning of this video. I had fun making it, Paul. You know, I respect you, you're my friend. I just gotta give you crap every now and then because I think it's funny. But really, guys, uh, the fact I'm able to build this computer is awesome, you know? Uh, before I started working with Paul, I had no idea how computers work, right? And the fact I was able to put this together in about an hour or so, then from here I know how to install Windows and all this stuff, you know, and pretty much get the computer set up, up and going, you know? It's a good skill to have, and I'm very glad that I'm able to have this skill. And I gotta thank Paul for that because, you know, working with them, I learned a lot, right? I gotta thank both Paul and Kyle. Kyle helped me out get a lot of the base components started. Then Paul later down the line helped me get more of like the newer parts, say like the RAM in uh, this case, right? So quick story behind this uh, PC. Um, actually back in 2017, I was still working in construction, right? And then in the afternoon, in my free time, I was editing videos for either Paul or Kyle. I was basically kind of like a floating editor. Whenever they needed me, they just randomly send me a video. Um, it was tough, especially when they both wanted me to edit like a launch video for them. That I sucked <laughs> really badly, right? So I built this second PC and I called it the render box. So while this PC was rendering out Kyle's video, I had another PC that was editing Paul's video at the same time, right? Also around that time, I was really into VFX stuff, right? I was trying to learn how to do 3D uh, physics simulation, you know, fire and stuff like that. And that stuff can take a long time to render as well, right? I mean, it can literally take a whole day depending on your uh, PC, right? So then eventually, you know, I stopped working in construction. Uh, Kyle had his his wife Heather helped him out and uh, he had Chris to help him out so he didn't really have much need for me. Uh, I asked Pot if I can work with him more full time. He said yes and then eventually you know he helped me create Party Monster 
which is definitely a strong, a very strong PC. And like, I'm very uh, grateful for that. So this guy became obsolete. So I took it apart and I put it in storage, right? So now that me and my girlfriend, we finally move into our own place. Since she's starting to work from home more often, I offered her, she wants me to build her this PC so she can use it to work. And she said, yeah, and I'm like, cool. I'm glad that um, I could take it out of storage and just put it together and, and put it to use, right? So yeah, that's the story of this PC. But wait, there's more. I'm finishing this video right now. I just need to add this little updated information. And yes, I'm using my headphone as a little boom mic. So like the next day after I built the PC, I was trying to install like the Windows, right? I got this cool little USB thing from MSI, right? For one of the meetups I went to, I don't know, either Taipei or Vegas, I'm not sure, but. So I created the Windows install in this USB, connected the damn thing, went to the UEFI BIOS thing, restarted the computer, and next thing you know, the moment the Windows install launched, animations started, right? It started for like a millisecond and then it just froze and it just stayed there. And I was like, God damn it. So I messed around thinking I was how to do something with the memory. I changed the XMP settings and so on and so forth. I spent a good amount of time on it, you know, getting mad at it and all that crap. I spoke to Paul on the phone and he explained to me that I may need to update the motherboard's UEFI. So I had to do that. And sure enough, that was a problem. As I mentioned, I built this PC back in 2017. So the UEFI version of that motherboard is, I was like version P1.06, right? All right, so we've gone to like the... The BIOS update and for the ASRock motherboard, as you can see, the version that I had built into the motherboard, which was P1.06, is not even available here. <laughs> the only, it goes down to version 2.00, right? So I had to update the BIOS up to versions three. Then from here, I had to update to version 3.2. Then from here, I think I had to update to version five. Then from five, I had to update all the way up to like version 5.4. So I definitely need a lot of updates. <laughs> Crap. So yeah, just to end the damn video, if you have a damn computer that's been stuck in your attic or your basement for like the past few years, you decide to put it together to give it to someone or just to use it again or something, be sure to update the damn BIOS, right? <laughs> Especially if you bought some new hardware for it. In my case, what happened was I was planning on building the computer again. And when I was working with Paul, he had a 16 gigabyte RAM kit from G-Skill that I wanted to use for this PC, right? And that was causing problems because that was a newer version that wasn't uh, being recognized by the motherboard, right? So yeah, <laughs> either way, if you have a computer in storage, definitely update the UFI BIOS, you know, to avoid any headaches, you know, if you want to use it or hand it out to anybody. But I'm going to end the video here. This video was a lot of fun to make. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please smash the like button button and pretty much uh, leave a comment and let Paul know if it did good or not. <laughs> uh, considering the situation that we're dealing with right now, I can't go to his house that much and I uh, help him produce some videos. So if I can stay home and help him make some videos, you know, for fun every now and then, I'd be more than okay to do that. So let us know if you guys would like to see that. If you guys think I suck, hey, if I want me to leave a comment saying that I suck and uh, I won't waste my time. <laughs> my feelings won't get hurt. But anyways, I got to finish this video. Thank you so much again for watching, right? Like, subscribe. Buy a hoodie from Paul's store and uh, yeah, bye.